Welcome to Awakening the Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Christian Strang, and welcome to your December 2023 Oracle Reading. We are in the final month of the calendar year known as 2023. And today's episode will be dedicated to Sayusla. Sayusla is our beloved Czech shepherd who made her transition this week after 12 and a half years blessing us on the earth plane. And now continuing to bless us, I am receiving so much information from Sayusla since she made her transition. Uh, Many of you will recall a couple of years ago, she started bringing through wisdom channelings and we shared those on our social media. And really at that time, I thought, oh, this is happening because she's going to make her transition soon, you know, like it's coming. And we got two more years and we're really so grateful uh, that we got to experience two more years with her in the body. Um, This is a deep time of honoring her. I consider it my absolute privilege and responsibility as someone who is still in a body to honor all those that I love when they make their transition. Now, of course, I'm honoring that when they're here and when they transition to their next level, it is this very deep, maybe you can even feel it in how I'm expressing it to you, this very deep call within me, like this incredible honor that I have to now be in a state of really reveling in and celebrating their life stream. It just feels so important to me. And Sayusla, our beloved Czech shepherd, who um, is teaching me so much about who are animals, what are animals, and really the divine nature of certain beings, just as though they are very divine beings that are here in human form. There are very divine beings who incarnate into animal form. This was brand new to me. So Sayusla is my first animal experience um, and really being very close to an animal um, in my entire life. So she has taught me so much. And since making her transition, she continues to blow me away with the wisdom that she's bringing through. She's been waking me up in the early morning hours and giving me these incredible downloads. And it's just amazing what is possible here on earth. So I'm dedicating this episode. I'm really dedicating as much as I can to her this week and um, will continue to do f- do so um, throughout the rest of my incarnation. I will be honoring her. She is on my altar. Uh, we've got a candle lit for her. We've been doing a call for her. Um, had a very beautiful honoring of her in this entire process. And, and I really feel like it is such a privilege and an honor that I get to do that for her and for all those I love as they make their holy transition into the next realm of consciousness. So um, please join me today in offering up a blessing, love, gratitude for our beautiful Sayusla and her service on earth to my family over the past many, many years and her continued service from the non-physical realm. We're so grateful. We love you so much, Sayusla. And I want to invite any of you who feel the resonance to really make this a practice in your own life, that we really honor the the transition that occurs when we move from, well, Sayusla is teaching me a lot here. Um, my, it's, it's not lost on me that my next book is titled Afterlife, you know, and this just happened. And, um, I'm actually staring at the copies right now. Those of you that were wise enough to order the special edition pre-order copies, these are getting ready to go out into the mail. And, um, it's not lost on me that the whole book is about what happens after death and also really bringing through that it is not this fatalistic, um, experience that we have been programmed to believe that it is meaning like, Oh, you're gone. You know, when you're gone, you're gone. And then, you know, you're not coming back for a really long time. If you even do come back and if you do come back, you're starting over at the beginning. And like, we're busting through all of that programming, um, in this, my latest book, the angelics afterlife for those of you that were not wise enough to order the pre-order special edition copy, this will be available next year, um, I'll release it wide. Um, but this is certainly like the time that we're in. I said many, many years ago, for those of you that have been with me for some time that I knew that further on in my life, I would do work around death. 
But I, I thought maybe like death doula which I've done. I've been doing sessions for people as they're making their transition, doing sessions for animals to assist them in making their transition. Like I've done that, but this is so much deeper than what I ever imagined and really busting through the limitations of what we think death is and also how we treat death when it occurs, what we call death. You know, how do we treat those that we love and um, how other people respond to that, right? Those of you that have had someone close to you, whether it's an animal or a human, make their transition, you know how people can be weird, right? Humans get weird about this stuff. They don't know how to handle grief. They disappear or they say weird, inappropriate things. You know, it's so fascinating to witness all of the pent up, distorted, twisted thought forms and belief systems that exist around death and what it really is. And Sayusla is certainly teaching me more and more about how these bodies, whether it's an animal body or a human body, is just an outfit. It's just a cloak that we put on. And one of the things she said to me, um, I'm surprised I'm sharing this with you all on the podcast, but you know, I open up and say, okay, source, what do you want me to speak about? Um, she shared with me when we were looking at her body as we're preparing it for her beautiful ceremony that we did for her. She just kept saying, that's not me. Like, like I know y'all are like, you know, very emotional right now, but like, that's not me. That's not me. And so then I started asking, well, who are you then? And who I've got chills everywhere it's a whole other thing that we're working with. So really expanding your inner standing around what is death and what is really happening there. And when the soul leaves the cloak or the body, what's going on there? What's really happening? And it's, it's just incredible. And it's, I promise you that everything you've been told about death is incorrect. And I promise you that you are going to learn what an incredible celebration and expansion this is and how these whole lines about like, well, we don't get to see each other again and we're gone forever. Like, and not even the new age stuff of like, well, I'll see you on the other side. No, no, no. There is so, no, no, doesn't even work like that. So this is very exciting. Um, and I want to invite you that if there's anyone in your life who's made that's special to you and close to your heart that has made their transition, like set a place for them at the table during the, the holy day season and at those special dinners and honor their birthday and honor their transition day. And, you know, use social media for something actually interesting, you know, honor them, you know, social media has just become a whole like sales platform. And it's, it's a fascinating thing to witness this progression from the early days for those of us that were in with social media in the early days, and then what it's turned into now. And let's use it for a force as a force of good. Let's honor those that we love who have made their transition, those that we care about now that are still here in a body in the way that they are right now, knowing that that form will change for all of us. I really invite you to go deeper into your, you know, set up an altar for them, light candles for them, really honor their presence. I'm saying this as I'm looking at uh, one of my mentors, Guru Jagat, and I'm looking at um, Mary Magdalene and, you know, like surround yourself with honoring their energy and their essence, because it is a privilege and a deep honor to do so. And I definitely had programming that animals were just, you know, animals are like nice domestic, you know, the domestic animals that are by your side and that, you know, like every animal has their purpose. You know, I maybe had a more what you would call fourth dimensional understanding of what animals were, but now I'm understanding animals at a whole other level. And that was coming in when Sayusla was in a body and she would, she started talking to us and talking to me specifically and coming up to me and moving her mouth and talking. And that is exactly you know, she continued that and she would talk to me and tell me what was really going on. And she'd give me her opinions about what was happening in our lives and in the movies we were watching and, you know, whatever was happening. Like I knew there was way more going on. And now witnessing her, her expansion and her going to her next level is just bringing in so much more about what is possible and what's really happening here on earth and what these bodies really are. And it is so much better than we could have ever imagined. So this episode is dedicated to Sayusla. 
And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have connected with her on the physical plane and in non-physical. And I'm so grateful that you all get to to know of her and um, feel the power of her presence. So let's go into our Oracle reading for the month of December. We are in the Holy Days portal that began on October 31st. We are in this time of absolute holiness and sacredness and honoring the sacredness of this season. No surprise, the artificial matrix wants you eating a bunch of indulgent crap food that's not actually food and they want you drinking lots of alcohol and going to forced celebrations where you have forced fun and um, have to interact with people that you may not actually vibrate in harmony with. So absolutely the artificial matrix is always going to try to program you in opposition to the nature, the true nature, the holy nature, the divine nature, the source led nature of whatever is here on earth. So we just know that, you know, my team started telling us many, many years ago when I first started channeling that, you know, it's an obstacle course, choose your own adventure, where in the world is Carmen San Diego experience here on earth. And I see the truth of that more and more um, as I continue my journey. So we just know that you just know, like, oh, if what's on TV and on the internet is telling you to do da 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 da, just do the opposite. And you're going to be in alignment with your higher self. <laughs> just know that just do the opposite. And now you got it. Um, so that's actually a really great you know, tool that they gave us really like just do the opposite of whatever is in the mainstream culture and you're in alignment with your higher self. And if you're doing things in alignment with the mainstream culture, you're disconnected from your higher self. That could just be like a very easy tool for you to use. So this time is really a time to go deeply inward, deep in meditation, deep in self care, deep in your self healing. The winter season, when we're looking at the Chinese five elements, for those of us who are in um, the Northern Hemisphere, this is a time of deep introspection, deep interconnection, having really deep connections with those we love. You know, so if you're going to gather, gather with those that you have a real deep connection with and talk about real things and celebrate each other around real things and be in ceremony and ritual and hugging on each other and loving each other. And actually, I'm getting ahead of myself because this is exactly the message for you uh, in your Oracle reading. So your Oracle reading for December 2023 comes from our OG Oracle, A Life of Magic, an Oracle for Spirit-Led Living. And it could not be more perfect, of course, because that's just how this whole magical life rolls. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you because I was just getting into it already. Um, And I really want to invite you to do this season in a new way. Really make December, unlike any December you've ever had before, how holy can you make it? This started coming in a few years ago for those of us that have um, been on this path together for the last several years or definitely the last three years we had that message come in. How holy can you make it? How holy can you make December? How much can you really make it about the divine, which is you, which is you and all beings and nature and all of life? Like how absolutely holy and beautiful can you make this time? That is your invitation. And we're going to go deeper here in this transmission. So we're working with the end of the transmission that is titled, You Can Have What You Want which is a really good reminder because most humans and beings have the program that you can't have what you want. So here we go. I want to invite you to close your eyes, take a couple of nice deep breaths. Of course, don't do that. Don't do that if you're driving and just allow yourself to let this transmission channeled from the highest light wash over you and illuminate whatever you most need to see right now. You are surrounded by beauty everywhere you turn. Your incredible minds have brought brought forth so much advancement in technology and quote unquote medicine and travel and all the wonder of what is possible when you focus and apply the wisdom of the ages and of the here and now to your desires. It's truly magnificent what you all have done. It's truly and utterly awe-inspiring. And then let's talk about the good stuff the way you love and the way you can love and the people you get to love. Oh my, do you know, do you know how this feeling is unlike any other feeling anywhere that when you are spirit in a body, feeling a feeling of love, it is one of the most transcendent feelings you can have. Of course, you know this. And that's why love is so important. It's why you have phrases like 
Love makes the world go round. You know, you just know it. It's the best. And when you have moments where you feel and allow yourself to feel the love that source in your spiritual team and that your higher self has for you, oh, it's utterly, we're speechless. Christian is searching for the word that would encapsulate the vibration we are sending her on this. She had that experience just now before this transmission came through. She was sitting here meditating and we were just hugging her and wrapping her up in love and she could feel it so strongly and tears came to her eyes like they're coming to her eyes right now and her heart expanded and she felt waves and waves of chills everywhere and she knows she is loved more than life itself. She is loved more than anything on the earth in this moment. Of course, you are as well. And you have your spiritual team and your higher self and source beaming that love to you at all times. It's just whether or not you allow yourself to feel it. And feeling it can be one of your most favorite things in the world. Christian loves to tell us how much she loves us. She tells us she would love to hug us to pieces and we quote, kiss our faces off if we had faces. <laughs> it's so much love. You just want to do something with it because it's expanding and pulsing through every cell in your body. And when you're a spirit in a body, you get to show another how you feel. When you're in a body, you do get to physically hug one another and kiss each other and wrap each other up in your love and warmth. And we would like more of you to do this more of the time with one another. In this month, in this sacred month, in this holy month of December, hug more, kiss more, touch more with the people you love. Let yourself express this love. Let yourself show this love in the delicious ways that only you as a spirit in a body can. Enjoy this experience. Enjoy all that is here for you in this experience. There is so much here, so much here for you right now in this moment. And we love you so very much. And we see you and feel you and hear you and your spiritual team. They are with you. That's the we we are talking about. And they're wanting to wrap you up with kisses and hugs and warmth. And that translates into chills and tears and this deep knowing that you are loved beyond compare. You truly are. And so it is. It is so. Taking a nice deep cleansing breath there, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. Your assignment for this holy month of December, of this holy season, is to hug more, kiss more, love more, see the beauty that is everywhere in everything that is available for you to witness. If you want to go extra credit, <laughs> extra credit towards greater enlightenment, do the opposite of whatever the mainstream tells you to do really enjoy this sacred and holy season and love on each other. You know, one of the gifts, one of the many gifts that Sayusla brought into our lives um, was that we had the sense, you know, I was, I was shown when she could potentially make her transition. So we really soaked up the time. We made sure that just every single moment that we had together, we really soaked it up. We really were there. We're eye gazing. We're loving on each other. We're, you know, just really fully present. And you, you don't need to know that your loved ones are going to make their transition because they are, they, we all are. This is going to, this, this is how it works here on earth, right? So you don't need to have the exact date to know that it matters to savor every moment and to hug more, love more, wrap each other up more, adore each other more, cherish each other more, like soak up every moment because tomorrow is not promised. So spend these holy days with those that you truly love and those that you truly vibe with and soak up and savor those moments because you don't know how many more you get in your current form, in your current experience. And that is by design. Right? So that's not like the sad thing that happens on earth. You know, that's the, the holy thing that happens on earth. So really allow yourself to be so fully present with your animals, your spirit animals, with your spirit people, with your spiritual team as came through in the transmission. Really be present. Really soak up each other's presence. And really love on each other because that is all that matters. 
I mean, really and truly, it's the only thing that matters is love. It's the only thing that's true. I can say that better because lots of people make lots of things matter to them, right? But the only thing that's really true is love. When you make your transition, you're going to be thinking about one thing and one thing only. You're not even going to be thinking. I'm getting corrected by my spiritual team. You're going to be pulsing with love. And the only thing you're going to want more of with those who are making their transition before you is more time more time to express more love, more amazing experiences. One of my favorite, you know, recent memories with Sayusla is her and I being out in the fall sunshine. Excuse me. And just feeling the sun on both of our faces and we're like cuddled up together and the sun is just pouring into us, right? It's just beaming on us and we're just we're just there in the sun together, loving on each other, just soaking up the sun. I'm like, oh, this feels so good. And she's like, Yes, it feels so good. We're just soaking up the sun together. It's like one of my favorite recent memories with her. We're not doing a bunch of stuff. We're not spending a bunch of money. We're not like at a party, you know. We're just so, we're out in nature soaking up the sun. So more of that. And I know it's winter for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. So maybe it's not the sun. Maybe it's the glow of the twinkle lights. Maybe it's the glow of the fireplace or the altar candle. And maybe it is the sun <laughs> if you're in other parts of the earth. But love more, savor more, marinate more, be fully present with each other more. That's what this holy season, if you're going to be around humans or animals, that's what this holy season is for. Otherwise, just be with yourself and go deep into self-care and self-love. And just as in the example in the transmission, let yourself feel your spiritual team all around you. I just saw twinkle lights just went all off in this room and there are no physical twinkle lights. Love that. Let yourself be with your spiritual team and be loved by your spiritual team. If there's no humans or animals that you're vibing with right now, that's okay. You can still follow this guidance. Hug yourself. Let your spiritual team love on you. Love on your spiritual team, right? Because I did. I would say to them, like, I just want to kiss your faces off. I love you so much. And they're like, be too dubs. We don't have faces. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. You know, so just let the love flow where you are most in vibration with it, whether that's with other humans, animals, or with your spiritual team and yourself. All of it matters and is important. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Awakening the Podcast and being here. If this episode was a benefit to you, please consider sharing it with someone you love, sharing it, sending a link. If you feel inspired to make a gift or a donation to support this holy work that I am living my life in since 2008, please feel free to do so. You can do that at sacred-spirituality.org. Click on podcast and the gift in information and the podcast episodes are all there. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Sayusla. Thank you, all of the highest light. Thank you, Source. Thank you, listeners. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Christian Strang, and this has been Awakening the Podcast.